Hey, hey, today we're looking at a pretty basic physics situation. We have a ball suspended by a T1 cable at an angle of 50 degrees and a T2 cable at a horizontal angle with a ball of mass of two kilograms. What is the tension of the T1 cable? So we know our F net is mass times acceleration. So the force of our X component is gonna be T1X plus T2X plus weight of X and the force of our y component is going to be t1y plus t2y plus the y component of our weight of the ball. All right, let's first look at the x component stuff. Well, we know that the weight of the x component is going to be zero, and we know because it's pulling down, the weight of the y component is going to be less than zero, be negative. So because T2 is horizontally suspended, as we can see by that right angle, the Y component of T2 is going to be zero. All right, let's reorganize our X force equation. All right, we get T1X plus T2X remaining, which gives us that T1X plus T2X uh, is equal to T1X equals negative T2X. That's because our total force should be zero because the ball's not moving. All right, so the Fy component is equal to T1Y plus Y uh, of the weight. That gives us that T1Y is equal to the negative Y component of the weight. So the weight is going to equal mass times gravity. Pretty standard. Now let's look at our system again. We have the ball suspended at an angle theta, all right, by this T1 cable with a Y component and an X component. This gives us a pretty simple triangle. And what do we do with triangles? Trigonometry. So if we take the sine of theta, that will equal the opposite T1Y over the hypotenuse, T1. Let's write that out and go ahead and rearrange it. We get the T1 is equal to the T1Y component over the sine of theta. We have all the pieces, so let's figure out what T1 is. First, let's go ahead and plug in what we know for our mass. The ball is two kilograms. Gravity is, of course, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Gives us the y, uh, the weight is negative 19.6 newtons. Awesome. Plug that in, because we know that T1y is equal to the negative weight. That gives us 19.6 newtons, divided by the sine of 50 degrees. So therefore, T1 is approximately 25.6 newtons. And that's how you find the tension of a system like that. Thanks, and bye-bye.